Oh, hi. I'm Kirk, <laughs> aspiring director, stress on aspiring. Hi, I'm Hunty, over enthused fanboy with apparently way too much free time. And you're watching <laughs> The, the Gay. Gay. <laughs> this is a show where we catch up on, review, analyze, gag over, die for, and destroy recent music videos. But what we will not be doing is ranking or rating these videos because assigning value to someone else's art is kind of lame. Uh, yeah, we're not here trying to be like, hypercritical, elitist, hyper important. Because at the end of the day, we're just two fags who really like music videos. So that's, that's pretty much it. So I guess let's just get started. First up, we have Dirty Projector's Little Bubble music video, which was released January 5th, 2017 and directed by David Langstreth and Adam Newport Vera. Longstreth. Longstreth. Yeah, he's, he's the, lead singer of the band. It was directed by David Longstreth, the lead singer of the band, and Adam <laughs> yeah. Newport Vera. Let's first start. impression. First impression. Go. I felt like at first the video was like a little like, nah, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, it's called Little Bubble. Like right. opening scene is like literally blowing little bubbles. Here we have like another bearded hipster white dude like being sad in nature. Like mm -hmm. none of us have seen that before. But well shot. I wasn't really brought in until the greenhouse scene. Um, oh, that greenhouse. Because like, got this green oh. sweater. It's just like, okay, he's like, has at least like a strong aesthetic eye. And yeah, I think for me, the first thing that kind of sucked me in, there's this like shot of him like looking into like an iPad or like some sort of tablet and like the light is like flashing on his face and he's like singing to it. I was like, okay, this is a little strange. Cause so far like the video had just been like a lot of like naturey stuff. And I was like, then we get this like technology and I'm like. Uh, the opening tablet scene, I completely dismissed cause it was just like, oh my God, boring. Um, but whenever the tablet was reintroduced during the snow oh scene God. with the dead oh. bird. That's when the video like really clicked with for me. And I think it really was like, kind of like the turning point of the whole video. It was a it was a slow burn. Like, and the dead bird. And then during, okay, like let's just talk about the dead bird. Because like, we start off with this like shot of a dead bird and it zooms out and it reveals that there's an eye tablet of the dead bird. It's gorgeous. And he's like playing with some wires in the freaking tundra. It became this video about like technology and nature. It's, we're in, like in these expansive nature scapes that seem to have nothing to do with the video. And then Q, we're actually viewing it through a tablet. It puts a twist on what is considered the little bubble. It gives us like a lot of like exciting things yeah. for the eye towards the end. Yeah, it's, like, it's really, almost, really like, pretty. It's like kind of psychedelic. And it's like a, it's a very sensitive video. It's a very, it's a little bit of a weird video. It's yeah. really refreshing because at first we were like, we have this peg, like, it's one of those music videos. And he flipped the script on us. Uh, <laughs> any other final thoughts on Little Bubble by Dirty Projectors? Where'd you get your sweater? Ah! <laughs> okay, so next we're doing Tenace's company video, which was released on January 6, 2017. I'm hesitantly gonna let you go first. <laughs> Initial impressions, go. Basically the entire video is like choreography. Tanaji is known for being a really great dancer. So I think it's really, really bold to just be like, I'm gonna make my like big lead single off of my new album, like just me dancing. It like kills, like literally from start to finish. Oh my God, yes. At first I'm like, okay, here we go. A choreography video. I'm always a little hesitant because I do like to have a little bit of a twist. I think it's really cool that like the video appears to be like a long take. It's really concentrating on just the choreography. Like some of those moves, like she goes from like, it's like really sultry and slinky, it's like really jerky and like, it's like dynamic. She's giving us so many different moves at every turn. I love when she's jerking with like the guys all around her. I love the little nene she hits with her girls. Growing up um, in the era of like, and sync and Britney Spears and Destiny's Child. Like everyone used to have choreographed like I know dance and I videos. miss it. And, like, like I'm pretty sure I started going through puberty when I saw Britney Spears' I'm a slave for you video. <laughs> um, Choreography's powerful, y'all. Also, the look I was so excited about. I, what, I, bitch, like, what? I, I just like wasn't super into the color scheme of her outfit. I'm sorry, I just like, I'll just sit <laughs> the over The looks here. were amazing. She's giving us classic R&B hip hop video girl. She Showing some cleavage with the crop sweater, the tie dye. She's got the baggy pants. She's got her Tims. All of the girls are kind of dressed like this. So even if you don't like her particular outfit, like do you have other the, outfits to choose from? I liked how the guys in the music videos are just like wearing plain black stuff. They're mainly just like 
object. Yeah, they're there just, just like... to be the props of the female dancers. We'll say there's like certain little things, like little subtle aesthetic things that kind of make it a little different. Like there's like this kind of like steamy smokiness to it that gives it kind of a vintage -y Yeah, look. the way the lights are like flicking yeah. on and off definitely adds like amps up the sex appeal, which is already like pretty high. Right. Tanache is giving us these late 90s, early 2000s pop tropes, which mm. we love with that you always like risk being seen as like reductive. I really like at the end of the video that she like starts doing that like chop and screw thing. Yeah. Bit. That's what I love about uh, Tanache and this video because we could use more pop branded R&B, but she right. is still including like the alternative, unexpected uh, elements that like are keeping it interesting. A choreography video that can kill from beginning to end, like keep your attention the entire time. Like the dancing is so interesting to watch and like it works. And like that is just like a testament to like how like talented and awesome Tanache is. So yeah. So we hated it. And finally, our last video is gonna be The Weeknd's Party Monster, which was released on January 12th, 2017, and directed by Brother with no vowels in it, and all uppercase <laughs> letters. B-R-T-H-R. First impressions. Yeah, there are some things I like about it. It's like a very much an aesthetic video. It is like, Editing, like boom, boom, lots of colors, like lots of like crazy cinematography and like special effects. Kind of 80s horror movie meets like psychedelic. George Michael, Billy Idol esque yes. character. Like neon flashing lights, violence, hot girls, drugs. Yes, yeah, like, it's a very you know. the weekend. He's just kind of like looking sad and drugged out in some sort of like weird party setting that kind of looks like a carnival fun house. Not really a uh, plot or storyline, but just like all the elements that make the weekend, but with this like new pop of like lights. Yeah. It's like yeah. I'm a pop musician now. Yeah, it was a little so. it was a little different for the weekend. I mean we're talking we have like so many different combinations of colors. It's like green, red, blue, like pink, like everything. And it's also like a horror movie too. We have like this shot of like these girls like eating this like cake that says like party monster on it. I wish it was a little more horror because I think that'd make it a little more The weekend too if there's like like murder or something. Yeah, it's like, it's like kind of like tailing this line between being like a wacko video and a pop video and I kind of wish he just chose it one. I don't mind that it has like a very like pop edge to it, but I wish it had more of like an edge to it. I've gone further yeah. with like the weekend's like weird, dark, like. Yeah, because when you watch the video, you're not like, whoa, this is crazy. You're just kind of like, whoa, yeah, this is crazy. Kind of, all the like pieces of the music video, I can appreciate. Mm -hmm. But as far as like an actual watch, like it's kind of an eyesore. It's like worth a watch, but it's definitely not like a video that I watched and was like, dang and you know, like put that like on my like YouTube playlist. Aesthetically, it's very much the kind of stuff I'm into. For some reason, it just didn't fit all together for me. I choose like an like a vibe. Just so much that I was just kind of like over it halfway through It's like it. over stimulating. I would work better if it had more surprises looped into it. Cause maybe then it's yeah. like, I already know it's gonna be another scene of like his face being blurred. Another girl like doing something. And like crazy lights, zoom in, new yeah, hallway, so, steam. Ooh. Yeah. It was just like a lot going on. Like I do think it's like a good video. Right. Like, I feel like, okay, like I get it. I know the weekend's world. I've known the weekend's world right. for a while. We see I just wanted like, more. I just want more. Yeah. Yes. Especially with that Goosebumps font. That was like, <laughs> good touch. I liked that a lot. All right, and now is the part of the episode where we rewind, rewind. to take a look back at just about any music video we choose to. This week, that music video is... It's Aaliyah! Are You That Somebody? Released in 1998 and directed by Mark Sherrard. We originally wanted to rewind to Are You That Somebody because of all the Aaliyah influenced musicians that already released videos this month, especially our girl Tanache. Yes! <laughs> draw quite a few comparisons to. And also it's just like Aaliyah. And like she's one of our favorite musicians and we like stand for her for life. So we're gonna play it. So... Uh, we love this video. <laughs> we watch it all the time. Very much like got that whole futuristic 90s, like yeah, the, gothy vibe that I love. Like one of our favorite parts of the video is that we are like kind of like ha like spying on these guys riding in on their motorcycle. Yeah. And then like boom, we're in Aaliyah's lair. And Aaliyah is just chilling with her crew. Arms crossed, just like, who are you? Hinch hawk. 
who else does that? No, no, does yeah. That. She, Basically, yeah, she's like this like badass, like super villain, cool, calm, collected, sexy. Right, which chill. is why she's like the pioneer of like all these like R and B spinoff artists that yeah. like exist right now. Well, let's just go into the choreography. Yeah, it's so good, and part of what makes it good is like kind of reverberated in Tanache's video. We very much have like these like women that are looking like badass and they're like hip hop video girl looks, but they're very much like in their dancing and interactions with the men are like super in control. The men are again, all in black, like are like showing skin, like very yeah. much like sexual objects. The dancing itself is it's all very like, it's very fluid, even though the, the movements are all kind of like minimalist and jerky. There's just something so like chill and like confident about it. This is like her place and she's letting us like have a little peek into it. And like it has this like mystery noirishness to it. It's still like very much this hip hop goth hybrid, which was like very like refreshing and innovative. And like now it's like that is like the norm, I guess. That's like it, um, like everything goes back to Aaliyah when it comes to like modern like R and B pop, we have these Doctor Doolittle like oh my gosh, clips that yeah, are you can't not talk about the... this video without talking about the Doctor Doolittle clips. So, but you can. That's how you know it's like yeah. a very engaging, like well thought out videos. That's like this is from the Doctor Doolittle soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Like, in the nineties there was this like thing where like you made like songs for movies and you would shoot a music video for it and you would like show clips of the movie during it. Yeah, that's why like everything that's going on is like dynamic and engaging enough and like even just the setting is like entertaining enough that you're just like, is that Doctor? That is Dr. Yeah. Doolittle playing in the background. That's Eddie Murphy. But then, like, but then you're like, eh, and it's okay, whatever. It doesn't really detract from the video at all. Yeah, but then we have like, like, darkness, flashback, and like they're in these like uh, uh, ballroom, ding, like, ding. outfits. They're all like still wearing black. They whip out the fans. It's oh, just the like, fan? I, I get down is, and like, dirty, but I'm also like gonna like be like, and like the guys like follow them. And like, in my opinion, what happens next is they eat them. <laughs> They meet the guys, and it's um, you know they, they they passed the test, which was like, are you going to be our dinner tonight? Thank you so much for watching <laughs> the first episode of the Gays. Uh, we're gonna try and release these episodes twice a month, uh, which is more commitment either of us have towards right. anything at this point in our lives. Uh, oh, and also um, there's a link to our blog in the description below, and it has our thoughts on other recent music videos as well as our faves from 2016. Ooh, if you have any feedback or any recommendations or just thoughts in general, you know, you can email us or you can comment below, but you know. Just remember, we're just two fags and a cat who likes music videos. Aww. <laughs> Oh, don't project who you are out here, kitty.